We have a great atmosphere here, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> By gum, are you all right, Derek? I'll tell you why. One of the most exciting things about the program is this. We have 300 people in our studio audience, all potential contestants. And until I invited them down, these four good people, Wendy, Norma, hello, Marlene, and Derek. Hey. They have no idea. I promise you they had no idea that they would be the first four contestants on The Price is Right. And I'll tell you something else before the show is over. We have five more surprises. We want five more contestants. <laughs> yes. <laughs> lots of fun, lots of games and lots of prizes and lots of surprises. Now then, I want one of you lovely people on stage with me. So we're going to play a one-bit game. Don't worry, all will be revealed. And the first thing to be revealed is this. A home exercise bike. <laughs> Cycle your way to fitness with this self-assembly exercise bike. In a smart enamel finish, it has five speeds, a height adjuster, and a mileometer. So any member of the family can keep in trim. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and the lovely Julia there, modeling that wonderful exercise bike. Now then, I want the price of that exercise bike. You have one bid each, and whoever bids the nearest, without going over, wins the bike and joins me on stage. If you go over, you bust. Remember, this could be yours if the price is right. Okay, Wendy, what is your bid on the exercise bike? 110. 110 pounds. What do you think, Norma? I think 79.95. 79 pounds. It's got to be in straight oh, pounds. pounds. sorry. 79 pounds. Thank you, Norma. Okay, Marlene, what do you think? 95. Pardon? 95. 95 pounds, says Marlene. Okay, what do you think, Derek? 111. 111 pounds. Well, the actual price we're looking for is 90 pounds. So, you join us. Hub, yes, it's you, my darling. I don't think you'll get home the way you're going. <laughs> okay, Norma, now you've won that. Oh, you do a lot of exercising. I could just do it with one of them. Well, you, you, you've got it. You've got it, darling. You won it. Oh, yes. How would you like to win these four prizes? A barbecue, a tumble dryer, a music centre, and an ice cream maker. A solid stove enamel barbecue. Your chance to enjoy cooking in the open air. With a generous sized grill, hinge lid cover, wheels for easy transport, and a hot plate to keep those burgers sizzling. This tumble dryer. For those rainy wash days, large enough to take the family wash, front loading with a temperature control, and a timer to suit all fabrics. A compact music center. It features a records and cassette deck and comes with a Dolby system and stereo speakers capable of producing 22 watts of solid sound. 
And finally, this new style ice cream maker. Mouth-watering desserts in only 20 minutes. It churns and freezes on its own and comes complete with a recipe book and serving scoops. And all these can be yours if the price is right. Okay, Norma. You'd like to win all those, wouldn't you? Oh, I would. I would. <laughs> oh, well, we're, uh, we're going to give you the chance. We're going to play the race game, Norma. Mm -hmm. We have four prices and four prizes. We want you to match the price to the prize. Now, here are the prices. £195, £78, £139 and £150. We will give you these cards with the prices on. Now, when we start the clock, Norma, mm -hmm. and there is the clock, we want you to go over there and give what you think is the right price to the young lady standing next to the appropriate prize. Mm -hmm. You do that four times, obviously. Yes. Then you come back here, you pull that lever. We tell you how many you've got right. If you've got them all right, you've cracked it. You take them all home, okay? Yes. In whatever you came in. Yes. What did you come in, by the way? Coach. Coach? Yeah. Oh, well, there's plenty of room then. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't get them all right, then you go back and change over the ones you think you need to. Then you come back here, you pull the lever again. Once again, we'll tell you how many you've got right. If you've got them all right, fine. If you haven't, you've got this madness goes on for 45 seconds. Is it? After which time... <laughs> it does. After which time, we all collapse in a nervous heap. Okay, Norma, you have 45 seconds to win those... Oh, she's on the mark already. <laughs> to win those wonderful prizes, starting now! Come back here, pull the lever, and we'll tell you how many you've got right. You've got two right. Now then, go back and change over the ones you think you need to. Come along. You have uh, 25 seconds left. That's it. You have 20 seconds left, Norma. What are you going to do? Which one are you going to change? Oi, what do you think? You have 10 seconds. No, you've got more than 10 seconds. Now you have 10 seconds. You've got five seconds. You've got... Pull the lever. Okay, now, you've got one right. Go back and change some. Come on. You've got one. You'll have to stop, Norma. Norma, that's it. You'll have to come here. God, line. How many of you got right now? We'll pull the lever for you again because you're exhausted. How many has she got? You've got two right. Two. Which of the two is it going to be? How are you? Shattered. Now then, Denise, what is the real price of that fabulous thing there? Yes! Well, Norma, you've won that. Okay, now this is what you really wanted to win, isn't it? Oh, I see. The, the tumble dryer. What is the real price of the tumble dryer? My lovely Julia, tell me. Yeah! Ah, oh, you got it. Well, wonderful. And that argues, of course, that the other two are totally wrong. Yes, you didn't get that. You didn't get that. Never mind, my love. You, you won the one you wanted, and you won another one as well. Okay, we'll see you later at the wheel. Thank you, Norma. Thank you, Denise. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. I better explain this to you later at the wheel. Later on, all the contestants who've joined me on stage will have a chance to spin the wheel and win a place in our showcase final. That, of course, is all in the future. At the moment, we're more worried and concerned about the fact that there is an empty place in contestants' rows. So, Tom Dodgson, come on down. You are our next contestant on the All right, Tom? Good well, lad. Think... Now then, I want you all to give me your estimate of the price of this. A traditional design food mixer. <laughs> this lightweight portable mixer comes with all the modern attachments. A large capacity basin, a whisk, and beaters. This mixer is tough, tough enough to take any beating you give it. Of course it will. That's what it's there for. Wonderful. Now then, Tom, what is your bid it's on the electronic... 75 pounds. 75 pounds. Thank you, Tom. 110. Marlene, what did you say? 110. 110 pounds, said Marlene. 
Well, we don't know, do we? Derek, what do you think? 160. 160, says Derek. Oh. A division of opinions there. Wendy, what do you think? 150. 115 pounds, says Wendy. The actual price we're looking for is 95 pounds. Tom, come and join me. Thank you very much. Stay there. That's lovely. Well, Tom, what are you going to do with the food mixer? Lost or lost? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll find somebody to do something with it for you. I'll try my best. Yes, of course you will, Tom. Of course you will. Now then, you've won the food mixer. How would you like to win this lot? A set of cane furniture. <laughs> This matching furniture will brighten the look of any lounge or bedroom. A two-seater sofa and a pair of armchairs with detachable cushions in a sophisticated floral pattern. A glass top coffee table and a freestanding shelf unit. All of them designed with a sturdy cane framework to bring high fashion into your home. Good. Okay, Tom, now we're going to play the card game and I'll take it in stages for you. First of all, I want you to draw one of these cards, just one. This will determine the range of your bid. Just one of those cards. Thank you very much indeed. What does that say, Tom? 60 pounds. Ah, of course it says 60 pounds. That's what we put it there. Now, that means that you have to get within 60 pounds of the price of that cane furniture without going over. All right? And this is how we do it. We play the card game. These are the cards. Now, we have added a naught to the face value of all of these cards. In other words, a 2 becomes a 20, 5 becomes 50, 8 becomes 80, 10 becomes 100, and all the court cards are also worth 100. Okay? Good. We're going to start you off with 100 pounds. You draw a card. We add the value of that card to that 100 pounds. You carry on drawing cards. We carry on adding their value until you think you have got within 60 pounds of the value of that furniture without going over. Then you stop, and we tell you whether you won or lost. You got that? I have. Good lad, draw a card. Okay. What is that? It's what, 9 or 90? 9 or 90, that way you've got there, of course. You, he's got the idea. That's it. Indeed. You're going to draw again? I am. Uh, you, he's going to draw again, our Tom. Another nine! Another nine. A nine is Tom. Okay. What are you going to do now? I'll draw another card. Okay, draw another card. There we are. That is the seven of clubs. That's another 70. Making three... Oh, oh yes. Yeah. 350. What do you think now? <laughs> I'll take another card, I think. Okay, take another card, Tom. Right. Another seven, the seven of diamonds. What are you going to do now? 420, it says. You're going to draw another card? They're giving you lots of advice out there. What do you think? I'll take another card. You're going to take another card. OK, Tom, you're taking another card. That, oh, that's a low one. That is the two of clubs. That gives you 440. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? Some of your friends are telling you to stick. Some of them are telling you to draw another card. What I'll draw another one. He's got to draw another card. OK. It's the six of spades, another 60. Now what are you going to do? Well, well, well. I'll stick on this. You're going to stick. OK. That means... OK. Now that, dear Tom, means that you, we're looking for a price, and you certainly are looking for a price for that cane furniture, of between 500 and 560 pounds. Agreed? That's agreed. Okay, now then. You bid, or stopped bidding, at 500 pounds. The actual price of that furniture is 523 pounds! A difference of 23 pounds, you've done it! That's lovely, you've got the furniture. We'll see you later at the wheel. Lovely. Julia will look after you, and Lisi will look after me. Wonderful. Okay. Fiona Day. 
Come on down! You are our next contestant on the Price is Right. Wonderful. Hey, hey. Oh, that's great. What, you came down like a thing possessed. <laughs> And quite right, so you should. Now then, I want you to bend your mighty minds as to the price of this item. A pine spice chest. Enhance your cooking and your kitchen with this wall-mounted spice chest. And finished in new pine, it opens to reveal a selection of exotic herbs and spices in these attractive containers. And a very lovely and attractive lady featuring that pine spice chest, the lovely Denise. Now then, Fiona, what is your bid? 150. 150 pounds. Marling? 65. 65. 65 pounds. Okay. Derek, what do you think? 58. 58. 58 pounds, says Derek. Well, well. Okay, then. Wendy, what do you think? 68. 68 pounds, says Wendy. The price we're looking for is 84 pounds, Wendy. Thank you, Lisa. Good to see you. Oh, good fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Have you got a pine spice chest? I haven't, no. Well, you've It'd be got... very useful. It, well, you've got one now. Lovely, right? <laughs> now then, how would you like to take home these items? A lawnmower, a terrarium, a sewing machine, and a hi-fi. <laughs> a top-quality electric lawnmower with a rotary engine. This mower features a safety switch, a large-capacity grass collector with a cunning height adjuster, and has an inbuilt vacuum to give you the best groomed lawn around. A Tiffany style terrarium. Watch these plants grow in their miniature hothouse. This leaded glass container and selection of exotic plants will form an unusual and ever changing centerpiece to your living room. This deluxe sewing machine. Dressmaking is easy with this portable machine. It comes with a range of attachments guaranteed to do anything from darning to intricate embroidery at a touch of the electric control. And finally, this hi-fi stacking system. Bring modern technology into your living room with this mini hi-fi. It has a stereo receiver and cassette, two speakers and a motorized deck. And when it comes to power, oh, this hi-fi compares easily with any larger systems on the market. Okay, Simon describing everything there in his usual style and with his uh, very great elan. Now then, <laughs> Wendy, we are going to play Danger Price. That is the Danger Price. What does it say? 160. That's what it says, Wendy. Now, one of those prizes is valued at that price. What we want you to do is to pick the three prizes which do not contain the Danger Price. Understood? Okay. If you choose the right three, you win all four. All four. Now then, which are you going to choose first? Avoiding the danger price. The lawnmower. Wendy thinks the lawnmower. What is the real price for the lawnmower, Julia? Tell us. Yes, you've got that. That's all right. Now you have two more choices. The garden. The garden. The garden, we think. Okay, Julia, what is the real price of the garden? Yes. Now then. So, what do you think? You're getting lots of advice. What do you think? The hi-fi. The hi-fi. Okay, Jackie, tell us about the hi-fi. What a shame. Let us see the price of the sewing machine. Yes, that's the one you should have chosen. Never mind, Wendy. You've got one prize. You've got the pine spice chest. And we are going to spin the wheel. All is not lost. Come here. Right. The wheel is coming forward. Lisa will sort you all out. You're all in the right places. Good. 
Now then, come here, Wendy, and I'm going to explain to all of you about spin the wheel. Here we have a wheel. Even I know that. <laughs> and who, it's marked off in fives from five to a hundred. And whoever gets nearest to the hundred without going over wins a place in our showcase final. In one spin or a combination of two spins. That is the possibility. If you actually hit the hundred in one spin or a combination of two spins, you hit the jackpot and that's worth 500 pounds. <laughs> You also win a bonus spin, and we'll tell you about that should the occasion arise, OK? In the event of a tie, we have a spin-off. OK. Understood? Understood. Wendy, a frail creature like you is going to have to use a lot of strength to spin that wheel. Now, uh, hang on, wait a minute. That's right. That's absolutely right. Grab all of it there and there. And spin with all your might! Oh! It must be one complete spin of the wheel. Yes, you're a strong girl, and it's working well. That's great. Now then. Away! 95. What are you going to do? Are you going to stick? Definitely. Yes, I'm sure you are. Over you go to the sticking place, Wendy. Now then, Norma. Oh, little bundle of fun we got here. You've got 95 to beat, Norma. Okay. Can you get up there to that one there? I think you might. You might have. Oh, yes. Really give it a tug. It's got to have one complete spin of the wheel. OK, Norma, come here. Let's have a look and see how you get on. You've got to beat 95. That is what you have to do. rub down with a sporting live somebody for heaven's sake that's lovely well you're not going to spin again are you of course you're not no 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 over you go my dear well that is absolutely great okay tom you've got a what well, you've got to tie you've got to get a hundred to tie it's your only chance okay spin the wheel tom now then come down here tom let's see how you're getting on Never mind now, Tom. You have one more spin, which of course you've got to take in order to try and tie with Norma, and you've got to get 15. OK. Spin the wheel! What's it going to be? Is it going to be 15? Is it going to be 15? Oh, I'm sorry about that, Tom. Never mind, you've got some goodies to take home with you. Bless your heart. Now then, come here. Come here, Norma. Norma, we are now going to have your bonus spin. Can you stand up on the podium, dear heart? Good. I am now going to set this in the right place, and I'll tell you about the bonus spin. One spin you've got. Where is this flipping hundred? You've lost it. That's it. Now then, in the bonus spin, Norma, in the bonus spin, if you land there or there, in the 15 or the, or the can you say it? Come down here. In the 15 or the 5, either of those blue areas, we give you a bonus of 250 pounds, making 750 pounds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you realize that? Oh, yeah. Norma, I might tell you, is at such a stage, she didn't even realize she'd won 500 quid or anything. Now, come, come here. Now, if, you, if in your bonus spin you actually land on. You're all right. You land on the hundred. And then be If you, you land on the hundred again, then you get a bonus of a thousand pounds, making fifteen hundred pounds. So, spin the wheel. Spin that wheel, Norma. What's going to happen? What's going to happen, Norma? It is hard to understand. Oh, is it going to be? Never mind, you've got 500 pounds under your belt, or whatever you want to keep it. Norma, you have won a place in our showcase final. Oh. I don't know whether you'll last long enough to be able to, <laughs> to accept it, but I'm sure you will. And I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen at home, that you will also join us when we have lots more games, lots more prizes, and another spin at the wheel to see who joins Norma in our showcase final. We'll see you in a few minutes. Cheers. <laughs>
welcome to contestant Ro Russell. Oh, yes, all very excited. How would you like to cast your votes on this particular item? A globe cocktail bar. <laughs> a wooden reproduction globe with a hand-finished map surface. It opens up to reveal all your favorite drinks and cocktail ingredients. Now, we're only looking for the price of the bar, but if the price is right, you'll win all the bottles inside as well. Way! Okay. Now, just to reiterate what Simon says, what Simon says, uh, we're only looking for the price of the actual cocktail bar, not the drinks inside. But, of course, if you win it, then you get the drinks inside as well. So, Russell, what is your bid? 135. 135 pounds. Fiona? 160. Uh, pardon? 160. 160 pounds, says Fiona. 140. Ma 140 pounds, says Marlene. Derek, what do you say? 145. 145 pounds, says Derek. The actual price we're looking for is 174 pounds. Fiona! Thank you very much. Come on here, darling. That's it. And come right up here. That's wonderful. Way! Isn't that good, Fiona? Oh, you... And you were in contestants' row for... I thought you'd taken root. That's wonderful. Now, you've already won that lovely cocktail bar and the drinks inside. How would you like to win two of these items? Our jewellery display comprises a lady's watch, carriage clock, a lighter and an evening bag. This lady's watch features a distinctive stainless steel bracelet with a gold plate trim and has a classic face with Roman numerals. This watch combines modern quartz technology with traditional Swiss craftsmanship and a carriage clock, a classic timepiece for any room in the home. This neat clock, hand-finished in brass with English movements, has an enamel face and a solid brass winder. A famous name, Lighter. Next time you're asked for a light, produce a quality flame with this, the best that London's Bond Street can offer. This gold-plated lighter has a fine flint action and comes in a protective case. And to round off this display, a ladies' evening bag with matching purse and glasses case. This fashionable gold link set is fully lined, has strong clasps, and is sure to dazzle your friends. Now, Mr. Fiona. Fiona, my love. We are going to play Take Two. You've seen the prizes, you've heard them described. There is a list of the prizes. That 300 pounds up there, you see it? Mm -hmm. That represents the value of two of those prizes when added together. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. In other words, we want you to select the two items, the value of which, when added together, comes to that total of 300 pounds. If you select the right two, we'll give them to you. Which two are you going to choose? Uh, the ladies' watch. Yes. And uh, the carriage clock. The ladies' watch and the carriage clock. What is the price of the carriage clock, we ask ourselves? 125 pounds. That means we're looking for a lady's watch worth 175 pounds. Do you think that's right? Uh. You don't know, do you? <laughs> well, no, of course you don't. And neither do I until I open this up. No! no, no, no. 207, no, not to worry. You may think you've lost. They may think you've lost, but you haven't. We're going to give you one last chance. Now then, you can either select one of these and choose one of those, or you can scrub both those and choose both those. Do you understand that? Yes, That's right. it. Well, well, I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm having problems myself. So. <laughs> you can either <clears throat> select one of those. One of them has to go. Right. You select one of those and choose one of those, or you scrub both those and choose both those. What are you going to do? They think you ought to keep the watch. I'll keep the watch. Is that what you're going to do? I'll keep the watch. You are going to keep the watch. And that's going away. What are you going to... And the lighter. The lighter. Well, that's... And you agree with them? Yes, of course. She doesn't know. Well, neither do I, yeah? So we are looking for... Oh, her lighter. The... <laughs> That is worth one hundred and fifty-five pounds. What do you, what do you mean? How do you know it's not? It is. Good, good, good. So you don't want to worry about those at one hundred and twenty-five, and those. Really? 
Wonderful. Well, we'll see you later, Fiona. At the wheel. Thank you very much. Lisa will look after you. And Denise is going to look after me because we want another place filled on contestant row. Joan Smith, come on down. You are our next contestant on the Price is Right. Joan Smith. Good to see you, Joan. I've got a note about you. It says you proposed to your fiancé on the 29th of February, this being leap year. Is that right? Yes. And he's in the audience. Well, that's wonderful. Great. Congratulations. <laughs> now then, we'd like you all to bid on this item here. A uh, workbench and tools. <laughs> the perfect prize for an active household, a self-assembly workbench with a selection of tools. The workbench comes with a solid wooden top on a sturdy metal frame. And for those fast repair jobs, there's an electric drill, a power saw, a jigsaw, and a sander. Right, now then. Joan, what is your bid on the workbench and tools? 185. 185 pounds, says Joan. Marlene. 145. 145, says Marlene. What do you think, Derek? 195. 195 pounds, says Derek. Okay, Russell, what do you think? 140. 140 pounds, says Russell. The price we're looking for is 145 pounds. <laughs> okay. Actually, what I meant to say was the price we were looking for was £150, so you were the nearest without going over. Because there's another thing. No, 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 that's absolutely right. If, if, if you'd actually bid £145, then you would have had a bonus of £100. But I thought I'd better clear that up, all right? It's good to tell you bad news like that, isn't it? Never mind. You won a workbench in tools. Do you do, do it yourself at all? No. Well, you're going to have to now, aren't you? No. No? Oh, well, who's going to do it then? The old man. The old man. Oh, he's lumbered, right. How would you like to go home on this? A new motor scooter. <laughs> Here's the ideal prize for people on the move. This attractive 125cc motor scooter. Designed for efficiency and easy maintenance, it has an electric starter, a robust frame, and it's careful with the petrol. Look good on your bike in this matching outfit. An elasticated top and trousers set in a soft, waterproof fabric for comfort and safety. Yes, indeed. <laughs> now then, Marley. We're going to play the money game, and this is how we do it. That scooter is valued at three figures. Okay, that's the front wheel, that's the back wheel, and that is the empty space for the third figure. We are going to give you the third figure in the price. That is the two. You now know already, Marlene, that that scooter is worth blank hundred and something two pounds. Understood? Yes. We want you to select the two numbers which you think go there and there. Okay? Yes. If they're right, then they go there and there. If they're not, then we start putting them down there. If you fill those four spaces before you fill those two, you've lost. If you do it the other way around, <coughs> logic tells me that you've won. Okay? Now, which is the first number you're going to choose? Six. Six. Well, I think the whole of Nottingham thinks you ought to pick the six. Yes! Okay. That's the front wheel, Marlene. You can always be a unicyclist. Now, what is the next number you're going to choose? Three. You think three. Then we will take out three. Is it going to be three? No. No, it says no. That was not a wheel. That was a new. Go on, then. Four. Four. This is your decision. Well, well yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Right, four. Oh, there's the four. No, another note. Now, this is getting very serious, Marlin. We're going to have to concentrate a little bit harder than this. What do you think? Seven. Seven? Okay, then we will... Yes! That's wonderful. My God, you kept it.
was in suspense there, didn't you? OK, Marley, we'll see you later at the meal. Jackie will look after you. Thank you very much indeed. And Denise will look after me. That, thank you very much, Denise. OK. Peter Roger, come on down. You are our next contestant on the Price is Right. Wonderful. Good, 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 good. OK, now then, we all want you to bid on this item here. An elegant armchair. <laughs> With a varnished rosewood frame, this hardback armchair has cushions made from 100% comfortable Draylon in a smart peach colour with a velvet finish. That's what it is. OK, Peter Roger from Belfer in Derbyshire. Oh, lovely place. Now then, Peter, what is your bid on that chair? 115. 115 pounds. Derek, what do you think? 135. 135 pounds, says Derek. OK, Russell, what do you think? 145. 145 pounds, says Russell. Joan, what do you think? 150. 150 pounds, says Joan. The actual price we're looking for. Thank you. I love that, Belle. The actual price we're looking for is 159 pounds. Joan, thank you. No, you mustn't. How can you be nervous? You proposed to your fiancé on the 29th. How can you be nervous? I know, that was different. I bet he was nervous. <laughs> yeah, well, well, well. Yeah, how would you... Here, Joan. How would you... Joan, yeah. yeah. How would you like to win these two items here? A colour television and a Wellington chest. <laughs> this top quality colour set is a true portable. Light but sturdy, it has an easy view screen and push-button controls for the perfect picture. Also, this handsome eight-drawn chest, the very best in hand-finished reproduction furniture. It has beaded drawers, a full-grain antique U finish, and solid brass fittings. Good. That's what it has. Joe. We want you... We're going to play the clock game. That's the clock. Understood? OK. We want you to give us the price, the exact price, of those two items one at a time in 30 seconds. This is how we do it. We start with the least expensive item, which is the eight-drawer chest. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? The eight-drawer chest. You give us a bid, and the clock starts... Not yet. Sorry, I'm just explaining. The clock starts with your first bid. If the bid is too low, I can say higher. If it's too high, I'll say lower. OK? We carry on like that until you have won the eight-drawer chest. Please. <laughs> Having done that, we stop the clock. We then tell you how many seconds you've got left to bid on the television set. Okay. Understood? OK. Give us a bid on the eight-drawer chest by itself. Uh, 72 pounds. Higher. 95. Higher. 110. Higher. 150. Higher. 195. Lower. 170. Higher. 180. Lower. 176. Higher. 177. Higher. 179. Lower. 178. Yes! Wow. You have 11 seconds left to give us the price of the television set, starting now. 230. Lower. 210. Higher. 215. Lower. 220. Lower. 219. Lower. 218. Lower. 217. Lower. 216. Lower. 215. Lower. 240. Yes! Yeah. Oh. Come here. Well, that's good. Just to make sure that none of us are cheating. What was the actual price of the eight-drawer chest? There we are, of course, and Julia shows us the price that you so correctly guessed, and Jackie will do the same with the television set. And that's it. Well, there you are. You've done that. All that excitement. And we're going to spin the wheel. Here we come. Right. 
Now then, there we are. That's right, you go, yeah, that Denise will sort you all out. Now, do I need to explain the rules about spinning the wheel again? No. Of course you understand. Very, very good indeed. Now then, this is to decide who joins Norma. <laughs> Heaven help you. <laughs> In the showcase final. Okay? Step forward, Fiona. Use all the strength in your possession. One full spin of the wheel at least. Go! Come down here, Fiona. Oh, well, 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 well. What are you going to do now? You've only got 20 to play with. Are you going to stick or are you going to spin again? Stick. You're going to stick. Same conclusion. Right, okay, Jones, step forward. And don't forget, follow Fiona's example and give it a real, wait, hang on. Brace yourself and give it a really good tug. You have 80 to beat. Give it a tug. Whoa, that's it. Is that 80 gonna come round again? Is it gonna come round again? Yes, it is gonna come round again. In fact, now. We now come to a situation where you have actually tied, you understand that you've tied with Fiona. Now you can either say, I'll, I'll stick at 80 and I'll have a spin off with Fiona, okay? Mm -hmm. Or you can spin again, what are you gonna do? Stick. Okay, stick. over you go. The two people who have tied go over there. Now then, Marlene. Marlene, you have 80 to beat. Spin that wheel, whoa! Yes, that's wonderful, Marlene. Now then, what are we going to do? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Yes! You've done it! Commiseration! Oh, that's wonderful! Okay! Marlene joins Norma in our showcase final, and we know that you will join us too. We'll see you in a few moments. Cheers! showcase final and indeed our two finalists Marlene and Norma now then Marlene what have you won so far uh, a workbench and tools yeah. and a scooter you <laughs> certainly have how about you Norma uh, I've won an exercise bicycle a barbecue a tumble dryer and 500 pounds that's what you've won <laughs> <laughs> now then we have two showcases and you will each bid on one of them Whoever bids the nearest, without going over, to the total value of all the prizes in her showcase, wins the game and automatically takes home everything in that showcase except the highlight. If you get within 10% of the price we're looking for without going over, then you win the highlight as well. If you both bid over, you simply go home with the prizes you've won already. Right? Now then, Marlene, as the value of the prizes you've won so far already is the greater, you have the choice of either bidding on the first showcase or passing the honours to Norma. None of this can be decided until we see the first showcase. And our first showcase begins in this luxury hotel. We'll bring you and the companion to London to see the sights and to stay for two nights at the world famous Ritz Hotel. Your stay at the Ritz includes full board and a traditional tea dance, and we'll make sure that you get to see the most popular show that London's West End has to offer. Now, when you stay in a smart hotel, you need luggage to match. So here's a luxury three-piece set, two suitcases on wheels and a vanity case, all in lightweight Absolite, and each with a two-year guarantee. Now, how about this 35mm camera to make those photos you take on your trip really professional? Featuring a rapid wind lever and self-timer, it comes with an electronic flash unit, a zoom lens, and a neat hodl. And we'll give you a stock of free film. And so you can see those slides at their best, here's a projector. The very latest model with autofocus, timer, and remote control. And, of course, a freestanding screen. Now, all these prizes build up to the highlight of your showcase. 
a package holiday with a difference. After your stay in London, a chauffeur-driven Rolls-Royce will drive you and your companion in style all the way to Southampton where your boat awaits the QE2. Yes, the world-famous cruise liner will sail you in luxury across the Atlantic to one of the most exciting cities in the world, New York. You'll have four unforgettable days enjoying the Big Apple while you stay in splendor at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel overlooking Central Park. Then it's back home, but faster than a bullet on Concord. The package holiday of a lifetime, and it's yours if the price is right. Indeed. Now then, Marlene, what are you, are you going to bid on that showcase or are you going to pass the honours on to Norma? I'll pass it on to Norma. You're going to pass it on to Norma. Right. OK, Norma, what is your bid on that showcase? Bearing in mind that the highlight of the showcase is the holiday, but we want your bid on the entire selection of prizes, including the highlight. What is it? 3,300 and 75 pounds 3375 pounds there it is now marlene we will show you your showcase well your showcase marlene has the great outdoors as its theme we start with a traditional english picnic using this attractive hamper in classic wicker work with leather straps it opens to reveal six china settings stainless steel cutlery three thermos flasks and containers all in matching blue and white now why not take your picnic by the riverside then you can enjoy the water in this, an inflatable dinghy. Made from super tough rubber, this three-seater comes with a pump and a set of paddles. Now, whatever the weather on your picnic, we can guarantee that you'll enjoy all year round sunshine with this sunbed featuring a timer control, headrest and a smart tray. And to continue our outdoor theme, now the highlight of your showcase this deluxe caravan. This five berth caravan with lightweight chassis and long life sealed frame has been designed for maximum comfort and space. The interior is luxuriously kitted out with running water, electricity, lighting, and matching fixtures. And to give you power wherever you go, there's this extra, a 100 watt portable generator. With this superb caravan, you can take that family holiday wherever and whenever you want. And it could be yours, Marion, if the price is right. Okay, Marley, now then. The caravan is the highlight, but we want your bid without going over on the entire contents of that showcase. What is your bid? £4,752. £4,752. £4,752. That is your bid. Okay. Norma, you bid £3,375. The actual price of your showcase is £3,831. Uh, difference of £456. Wow. Marlene, you bid... £4,752. The actual price of your... It is £4,200. You're over. You're over. Norma, my dear. You've won. You've won. Norma, stay where you are for a minute. Thank you very much indeed. What a sport. Bless your heart. Now then, Norma, face this way, my lovely. That's good. Now, you didn't get within 10%. No. Right, very nearly. By George, it was near. But you didn't actually get within 10%, so you didn't actually win the holiday. But all the other prizes leading up to it are yours. So, for tonight's work, you have won an exercise bike, a barbecue, a tumble dryer, 500 pounds on the wheel, luggage, a 35 millimeter camera, a slide projector and screen, two nights at the Ritz, and tickets for a West End show. Has it been worth it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Norma. We know it's been worth it for you, and we'll see you next week when the price is right.